Howdy! Today we will unbox the black steel figure from Toy Works, which is an unlicensed figure. Hmm, he looks a lot like that Mike Coulter character. By the way, just realized Mike and I have the same birthday this month. The package is your basic shoebox design with some graphics on the front and on the back. Kinda give away who he's supposed to be. The packaging is quite simple as soon as I can get it to open, which will be any day soon. There you go. Basically, it's just a foam for protection, a layer for the figure and the hand shapes, and then another layer for the base stand accessory. In terms of the head sculpt, I think he did a decent job on the character, but his eyes look strange. What do you guys think? The likeness is there, but, but his eyes look like scary. From some angle, it's a spot on. And some others, not quite. Also, kudos to Toy Works, who did an excellent job in hiding the mole lines on the head. Good job, guys. The custom is your basic jeans, t-shirt, and hoodie. Quality is average and nothing special. However, they managed to add some details to the custom. For example, they added bullet holes to the hoodie. Nice touch, just like he was shot on the TV. But the jeans, they are very, very forgettable. I'll probably swap them out with my own jeans later on. Most third party try to save costs on the base body and this time is no different. When I compare it against the Soso Toys Danny Ran, both are the exactly same height and body shape, which is very wrong. So let me try to strip it down and see what I can do to help beef it up. Let me first remove the hoodie. Okay. Simple enough. Then the shirt and the pants. Seems kind of tight. Let me try that. Maybe I can uh, remove the shoes and pull from the bottom. Let me just try that. See, much easier. Whoa. He's wearing padded underwear. No wonder. Let me remove those. I never like those. And then let me remove the shirt. From the looks of it, it's like your basic Hot Toys uh, base figure articulation. Same with the waist joint, hip joint, knee joint. Hmm, not sure if you wear a blue shirt in the TV. I would much prefer if you wear a yellow shirt. But I can find one myself, no worry. After some struggling, I finally get the shirt off. Okay, you can see, he got some... Uh, padded uh, rubber on the chest area to make his uh, look better. The elbow is a single joint because it's the exposed arm, but note that some of the color is lighter and some are darker on the body, so they are not meant to be displayed naked. So, articulation seems firm and steady. There's also a hidden neck joint in there, so you can tilt the neck forward and back. First, I would add the tie muscle to beef him up because I never liked the padded uh, undies. Next, I would add a pair of ankle extender to make him taller because in the TV he is taller than when he ran. For accessories, you get the bare minimum. A classic Hot Toys base stand. From way, way, way back. Basically, you plug it in and you hold your figure. That's it. 
then you have a real metal chain. Got some heft to it. So maybe he used it as a weapon in the show. But I cannot recall. Then they have four pair of hand shapes. Okay, all are color, but quite simple, not to a very much detail. It's just your basic brown spray on. You got the relaxed palm. You get a pair of grabbing hands. As in a fight. Then you get a pair of hands to hold the chain. You just slide in there. Or if you can if you can find a baseball bat or something, a stake or a pipe, you can hold them as well, I guess. Then you got a pair of fists. Decent. And also note that they use the same wrist pack as Hot Toy. So in case you break it, you can use one of those as a replacement. Not bad. After the modification, the height looks more accurate. However, his pack and his arms are still skinny. So eventually, I might need to swap the body. For the World Box, muscle body seems a little bit too much. Maybe I'll try a Fison later on? Let you know later. I think Toy Works did a decent job on this figure. Although overall not a perfect figure, nothing some quick modification cannot fix. The good parts include a very nice head sculpt of Mike Coulter as Luke Cage. Well, I finally said it. A good price value for this set too. And the custom and accessories are decent. Now on to the not so good parts. The body is way under scale. So you either have to heavily modify it or just swap it. Overall, I'm pleased with this figure, as it allowed me to create my Netflix Defender team. Sorry, not a fan of Jessica Jones, so I will not be getting her. Well, until next unboxing, that's all folks.